Hello, and welcome to the weekly broadcast of Strategic Speaking for Results. I'm Elizabeth Bachman, <clears throat> your host, and today I'm talking about how do you actually find the time to write your speech? It's been proven over and over again that speaking in public is one of the best ways to raise your ability, to show your visibility, to show your value, and to position yourself as the way you want to be perceived. And yet taking the time to work on your long-term projects is always hard. I get it. I have the same trouble. There is a quote from, uh, there's a quote that I love, which talks about, we don't want to allow ourselves to be blinded to the long-term possibilities by the short-term difficulties. Um, I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's something like that. Over and over, you hear advice about taking time to think taking the time to plan out the long-term projects, which basically means do not open your email in the morning, because if you do, you'll wind up answering everybody else's emails and everybody else's challenges, and it'll be a problem. One great way to get yourself to write a speech is to book a speaking gig. That'll make you do it. You know, that's that deadline will make you do it. However, you have to have your talking points first. So in the course of figuring out what it is you want to say and how you want to talk about what you want to say, use stories. Now on this platform, I've talked a whole lot about stories about, your, about what you're good at, stories about what might've happened if you hadn't been there, uh, using horror stories. All of those are nuggets that you can sprinkle into a conversation to make things to make things more interesting. And because people retain stories more than they retain facts. If you think of those nuggets, say as appetizers or say as snacks, maybe that's a good way to think of them, then the speech is the menu. It's the full dinner that you plan by stringing those snacks together so that you have a full meal. And of course, using metaphors is one of the great things to do with your speech. Finding time to do it, <clears throat> take the time to work on your stories. I've spoken about that a lot elsewhere on this platform. Check my, uh, check my YouTube channel. It'll be an easy way to see how to talk about all of this. Then these stories become the nuggets, the, the raisins in the muffin, if you will, to continue with the food analogy, or the nuts, in, the almonds in a Hershey bar. Those can be used to illustrate your talking points. You're not going to tell just stories. You have to fit some talking points in around them. But the thing about creating the stories is it makes it so much easier when it's time for you to write your speech because you have half your material, you've already written it. Now, the trick is making yourself do it, finding the time to do it. And that's where working with a partner is really good. This is one of the things that we work on in the Visible and Valued Masterminds. We set up accountability calls with people. We set up get it done calls so that you can you can get that written or working with a coach, working with a coach like me. Uh, in some ways, I'm like a personal trainer at the gym, you know, booking a session with me will make you do it, will make you turn away from the short term to focus on the long term. Focusing on the long term works as you are planning strategy for your company and as you're planning strategy for you and for your career. Here's a tip that works very well. Book a one hour call with your coach or your accountability partner. Make sure that your admin, if you have one, has blocked off that time. Do not accept any other meetings during then. This is an important meeting that you are using to work for the benefit of your organization, 
because if you're more visible, your organization will be more visible. Then work with the coach for half an hour and use the second half hour to actually write, to actually implement the things that you intend to do. I confess it's the only thing, the only way that I managed to do it because it's so easy for me to get distracted. I'm a little ADHD. So for me to get distracted, I have to book the time with somebody and then promise that I'm not going to automatically just go to the email. That's the next thing. It's the automatic thing that we do, or you go to LinkedIn or some other social media. Uh, social media companies have spent billions of dollars teaching us how to do that. It's not your fault. We've just all been trained. So dedicate the time. Yeah. Uh, remind yourself that long-term thinking is so much important important it's so important because if you don't you're going to look up from your desk six months from now or a year from now and nothing will have changed so find the time make the time reserve the time for your long-term thinking including writing your speech if you have any questions about this ask me this is what i do in the meantime have a wonderful week i'll see you on the next one